just don't want to be break for lunch. Most of you are going to get up from the table, and as you walk into the door, you're going to pat your pockets, looking for two things. Have I got my mobile phone, and have I got my wallet? And the reason you're going to be looking for your wallet is, guys, you need to go back to the first slide, that's the last slide. The reason you're going to be looking for your wallet is that at the moment we live in a world where money is still something very tangible. It's paper, it's plastic, it's metal, and we have to keep it in that little leather billfold. One of the things we know about human history, though, is that every time society shifted and evolved, one of the things that we changed was the way we transmit value from one person to another. So from the barter economy, when it was, I'll give you two chickens for your goat, through to coins, paper money, and in the early 20th century, we got plastic money. But now, as we make the transition into the digital world, one of the things that's going to be changed as well, or again, is money. And so we need to consider that as money changes, one of the knock-on effects is that it will be changing our businesses. Because why do we exist? We exist for money. That's what we're there to create. For our shareholders, for our staff, we exist to create money. Now, the other day, I was looking at the Stack Inico app on my mobile phone. And I'm not sure if you're aware of it. In fact, do yourself a favor after this, go and download the app and have a look at this. It's crazy. You go through the Stack Inico app on your phone to book tickets for a movie. When you get to the end, they offer you two payment options, card or check. <laughs> now, I don't know how they expect you to pay by check using your mobile phone, but essentially what they did was they took their old way of doing things that analog business, and they just tried to bolt on something digital. The reality is what Ryan spoke about earlier and what several other speakers have spoken about is that in the digital world, the digital way of doing business is totally new. And the future of money sits slap bang in this new way of doing things. And so there are a lot of things coming through that are driving and influencing the changes in money. Whether it's blockchain or Bitcoin that you may have heard about, uh, whether it's mobile money or M-Pesa with your mobile phone. Money is changing. In fact, one of my colleagues, Keith, was on an airplane the other day, and he overheard a conversation behind him. Two gentlemen that had really battled to get together for a meeting, and they had eventually actually set their meeting up on the airplane, because that was the only time they were going to be in the same place together. And as the conversation started, one of the guys reached into his bag and pulled out two boxes of chocolates and handed it over to his associate. The guy looked at the boxes and said, that's awesome, thanks, but why two boxes? And the guy said, well, the one's for you, and the other's for your assistant, Angela, because she was so useful in setting this meeting up. The guy turned to his colleague and said, dude, you do know that Angela's a robot. <laughs> he, was, he had used a robo-assistant to manage his calendar and to manage his travel logistics. And it was so seamless that the other guy didn't even know that it was happening. And so we're now getting robo-advisors, we're getting robots, artificial intelligence, coming into our world where it's not just impacting your calendar, but impacting your wallet. That's this world, the future of money. And so, no matter where you are in the, in the world, whether you're in a corporate, whether you're in a startup that's looking at uh, Kickstarter and Indiegogo to get your business going, whether you are a junior manager or a graduate who's getting started, whether you're a senior executive looking at the strategic future of your business, an HR person engaging with a question, so should we pay people via their mobile phones? Or even if you're a parent, teaching your children financial sense. Does it make sense to teach them about money in a digital world using a piggy bank? The future of money impacts us all over the show. In fact, right now, I'm going to reach in, and I have in one hand my mobile phone, and in another hand, I have a genuine $50 billion banknote from the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. <laughs> now, which of these is more useful to you right now 
if you're going to be look at money. And just a hint, it's not that one. Okay, this is the world that we live in. This is the future of money. Myself and Graham, who you met a little bit earlier, have uh, written a white paper, and I have a number of hard copies over here, probably about 10 or 15. If any of you would like to come and get them for me at lunchtime, you're welcome to. Alternatively, that link up there will allow you to download a digital version. If you want to know what the future of money is and how it impacts your business, regardless of the industry that you're in, you need to ask USB to put you in contact with Raymond. <laughs>